here with you this gorgeous evening. I wanted to share this very interesting idea with you. Just reading this article today, New Scientist, it was all about how scientists have created an artificial human mouse heart hybrid. So here's what it was. It's not as weird as it sounds. They took a mouse heart, and yeah, I'm sure they had to take the heart out of the mouse, but you know, it's for science, so sometimes this has to be done. So they took the mouse heart, they were able to take away all of the mouse heart cells, and all was left was the protein scaffolding, right, that gives the heart its shape, right? And then they took human heart cells, and apparently there are three different types of human heart cells that we have within our hearts. They grew these from stem cells, which are these primordial cells that we get from our bone marrow. All of our cells originate from these stem cells, and they differentiate after a certain period of time. So they took these heart cells from the human heart, they put them together, and they grew for a while, they grew, and all of a sudden, the heart just started to beat on its own. Isn't that kind of amazing? I mean, it is this natural intelligence in the universe. You take these human heart cells, right, and you let them grow. One day, they just say, hey, you're over there, I'm over here, and they just kind of coordinate amongst themselves, and the heart just started beating. Now, they said in this article that a heart cell was not strong enough really to pump blood sufficiently in a human yet, but I think the really amazing thing is that there's this natural intelligence in the universe. It doesn't need our brain, our logical brain, to work. Is that these cells are smart enough to, once there are millions of them on around the scaffold in the, in the right shape, that the thing just starts beating on its own. And to me, that's the natural intelligence of the universe that's doing the work for us if we could just tap into it properly. And I think that's the challenge for all of us, you know, you and me. Each of us has this larger potential. If we tap into this natural intelligence, we'll tap into a bigger part of ourselves. But it really means getting beyond the fear of being bigger, of being able to do more and see more and be more. But that's our destiny. That's our natural evolution. Now, personally, what I think has been holding this back for the last 60 years, quite honestly, is simply the fear of the UFO extraterrestrial phenomena. It's really that simple. These capacities were made aware to us, if you looked at my previous videos, going back to the 1940s, the Roswell crash, and so forth. And for a variety of reasons, our society, I don't want to just blame this on the government, but our society has been afraid to face these larger potentials because it has implications about our contact with extraterrestrials and UFOs. And it's been holding us back. Now, we need to get beyond this to kind of connect to this larger potential that we all have. And I think that's where we are right now. Okay, as soon as we deal with that issue. It's not really so much about contacting extraterrestrials, even though that's kind of an interesting thing in and of itself. It's about contacting ourselves, the bigger part of ourselves. And just this little story about how those heart cells, when you put them together, starts beating on our own. If we put the different aspects of ourselves together, we will each, within our own life, start beating to that bigger drummer, and then we all beat to the bigger drum beat of the universe. And that's really what it's all about. And we all want to go there right now. I know you do if you're watching this channel. So. Anyway, well, I just thought I'd share that with you. It's a little fascinating science development that has implications for those of us interested in, you know, RV and crop circles and human fusion and all these other topics. So, anyway. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Take care for now, and bye.